Sri Lanka gives emergency powers to military, police after clashes kill seven. Sri Lanka gave emergency powers on Tuesday to its military and police to detain people without warrants, after a day of clashes that killed seven people and injured more than 200, and violence that prompted Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa to resign. As the Indian Ocean nation battles its worst economic crisis in history, thousands of protesters had defied curfew to attack government figures, setting ablaze homes, shops and businesses belonging to ruling party lawmakers and provincial politicians. Despite sporadic reports of unrest, the situation calmed by Tuesday, said police spokesman Nihal Thaldoa, adding that about 200 people had also been injured in violence that led to an island-wide curfew until 7 a.m. 0130 GMT, the following day. The president had already declared a state of emergency on Friday as protests escalated. Day of violence The attacks on government figures came in apparent reprisal for an incident just hours before Rajapaksha's resignation. Rajapaksha spoke to hundreds of supporters gathered at his official residence on Monday following reports that he was considering stepping down. After his remarks, many of them, armed with iron bars, stormed a camp of those protesting against the government, beating them and setting fire to their tents. Police fired water cannon and tear gas to disperse the skirmishers, after having initially done little to hold back the government supporters, according to Reuters witnesses. Thousands streamed into the streets in celebration after Rajapaksha's resignation, but the mood quickly became tense. Protesters attempted to tear down the gates of Temple Trees, his residence in the center of Colombo where broken glass and discarded footwear littered the surrounding streets on Tuesday, after some of the night's worst clashes. Military troops patrolled the area, where eight torched vehicles lay partially submerged in a lake. Discarded files and smashed equipment littered the ransacked offices of government officials, 